Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to solve a problem involving perfect square. So, what we have to show here, we have to show here that sum of squares of 5 consecutive natural numbers cannot be a perfect square. So, for any n belongs to n, n square plus n plus 1 whole square plus n plus 2 whole square plus n plus 3 whole square plus n plus 4 whole square will never be equals to k square for any k belonging to the set of naturals. So this is basically what we have to solve. So before going to solve the problem, what we will do, we will investigate few properties of perfect square which we will apply in solving the problem. So let us first start by taking few perfect square. So clearly the perfect squares are 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, 5 square, 6 square and so on. So these are the few examples of perfect square. Now what we want to do, we want to calculate the remainders of this perfect square when they are divided by 4. So when we will divide the number 1 square by 4 the remainder will be 1 in this case the remainder will be 0 in this case the remainder will be again 1 because 3 square is 9 and when we divide 9 by 4 the remainder is 1 again for the number 4 square which is 16 the remainder will be 0 again for the number 5 square which is 25 the remainder will be 1 again for 36 on being divided by 4 the remainder will be 0 so as of now you must have guessed the remainders are appearing in some pattern so for the number 7 square which is 49 the remainder will be 1 and for the number 8 square the remainder will be 0 so these are the remainders that we are getting when we are dividing the perfect squares by the number 4. So see clearly there is a pattern when the number is of the form even square the remainder is 0. See 2 square the remainder is 0. 4 square the remainder is 0. 6 square the remainder is 0. And similarly for 8 square the remainder is 0. And when the perfect square is of the form odd square then the remainder is 1. So we can conclude this to be true but we will give a formal proof for this. So let us start proving this result first then we will come back to the problem. Now any perfect square say s can be written as square of an natural number say k. So from here we can say that k is either odd or k is even. These two cases can take place. Now if k is odd then s is 2k plus 1 whole square. See we can take k dash here to distinguish between the value k and this integer where which we are using so it is better to take k dash so s is 2 k dash plus 1 whole square and in this case s is 2 k dash square so if we expand this will come to 4 k dash square plus 4 k dash plus 1 and in this case it will be simply 4 k dash square. So clearly this is sum and this is where lambda is the number which is left after taking 4 common from these two term and since k dash is an integer the remaining value after taking common 4 will be also an integer which we are writing it by 4 and from here we have taken k common 
सॉरी फोर कॉमन एंड सिंस के डेस इज एन इंटीजर के डेस स्क्वायर इज ऑल्सो एन इंटीजर विच वी आर राइटिंग इट एज म्यू सो एस इज ऑफ द फॉर्म फोर लैमडा प्लस वन और फोर म्यू वेयर लैमडा एंड म्यू आर इंटीजर्स सो बेसिकली वाट वी हैव शोन दैट एनी परफेक्ट स्क्वायर इज आइदर ऑफ द फॉर्म फोर लैमडा प्लस वन और फोर म्यू वेयर लैमडा एंड म्यू आर इंटीजर्स सो दिस मीन्स दैट ऑन बींग डिवाइडेड बाई फोर द रिमेंडर विल बी आइदर वन और जीरो बिकॉज इफ द परफेक्ट स्क्वायर इज ऑफ द फॉर्म फोर म्यू वेयर म्यू इज एन इंटीजर द रिमेंडर विल बी जीरो एंड फॉर दिस द रिमेंडर विल बी वन दैट इज वेन द परफेक्ट स्क्वायर एस इज ऑफ द फॉर्म फोर लैमडा प्लस वन द रिमेंडर इज वन सो वी हैव गिवेन द फॉर्मल प्रूफ दैट एनी परफेक्ट स्क्वायर ऑन बींग डिवाइडेड बाई फोर द रिमेंडर इज आइदर वन और जीरो डिपेंडिंग द फॉर्म ऑफ द परफेक्ट स्क्वायर इफ द परफेक्ट स्क्वायर इज ऑफ द फॉर्म इवेंट टू द पावर टू दैट इज स्क्वायर ऑफ एन इवेंट नंबर देन द रिमेंडर विल बी जीरो एंड इफ द परफेक्ट स्क्वायर इज ऑफ द फॉर्म स्क्वायर ऑफ एन ऑड नंबर द रिमेंडर विल बी वन नाउ वी विल यूज दिस रिजल्ट टू प्रूव द प्रॉब्लम बट इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू नोट दैट For a perfect square, this result is true. But there are numbers which are not perfect square, but the result will be also true. So, let us try to give some example like thirty-two. So clearly, thirty-two is not an perfect square, but on being divided by four, the remainder will be zero. there are many other examples too like 20 20 is not a perfect square but if we divide 20 by 4 the remainder will be zero so remember this is a necessary condition but not a sufficient condition that is to say for a perfect square the remainder will be either 1 or 0 but if the remainder is either 1 or 0 on being divided by 4 it does not necessarily implies that the number is a perfect square here i have given you two examples you can construct more also see that given any mathematical statement say p and q if p implies q then negation of q will imply negation of p this can be easily verified using truth table so if p is a perfect square we have shown that the remainder is either 1 or 0 so if the remainder is not 1 or 0 then definitely we can say that p is not a perfect square this is very important to understand so again once again if the remainder on being divided by 4 is 0 or 1 it does not implies that the number will be a perfect square but if the remainder is different from 1 and 0 then it will necessarily implies that the number is not a perfect square and this technique can be used to prove that a number is not a perfect square in many cases now we will get back to our original problem which was to prove that sum of squares of five consecutive natural numbers can never be a perfect square so let us try to prove that so what we do we take the value to be s so s is n square plus n plus 1 whole square plus n plus 2 whole square and so on now we will simplify s and try to find the remainder of s when being divided by 4 so clearly the terms if we expand will comes down to this and this will comes down to and this will be so 
so what we have done here we have expanded each of the four terms because the first term is simply n square and then we will add to get a simplified version of s so clearly this is nothing but 5 n square plus if we add this one see we are getting 8 plus 2 is 10 then 20 so this will becomes 20 n and this becomes the last value is simply 30 so see we will use the result we have proved earlier so if we can show that the remainder of s is never 0 or 1 when divided by 4 then we can be sure that s will never be a perfect square so let us see if that happens or not so first remember that n was given to be a natural number then n will be either even or it will be odd so we consider the case where n is even so if n is even so n can be written as 2 lambda where lambda is an natural number now we put back the value of n in the expression of s so s becomes 5 into 2 lambda square 20 into 2 lambda plus 30 so this becomes 5 into 4 into lambda square plus 20 into 2 lambda plus 30 now see that these two terms are clearly divisible by the number 4 and again from the value 30 we can take out the factor i take out the factor which is divisible by 4 by splitting 30 in two different numbers one of which will contain the value which is exactly divisible by 4 so this will become so if we take four common from these three terms this will become since lambda was a natural number 5 lambda square plus 10 lambda plus 7 will be an natural number so this becomes 4 lambda dash plus 2 where lambda dash is an natural number this follows from the closure property of integers positive integers if we add or multiply any two positive integer then we get an positive integer itself so we have shown that when n is even then s is of the form 4 lambda dash plus 2 that is s will give remainder 2 this will be the remainder on being divided by four so what we have shown here that the remainder of s is 2 on divided by 4 if n is of the form 2 lambda now we are left with the case when n is 2 lambda plus 1 so similarly when n is 2 lambda plus 1 we will see that the remainder will be different from 0 and 1 so let us start by putting the value of n in the expression of s so s will be 5 into 2 lambda plus 1 whole square plus 20 into 2 lambda plus 1 plus 30 so this simplifies to 5 into 4 lambda square plus 1 plus 4 lambda plus 40 lambda plus 20 plus 30 now see this can be written as 5 into 4 lambda square plus 5 into 4 lambda i am writing the constant term 5 at the end so 
this will come and this will become 4 lambda plus 20 plus 30 plus 5 now see each of these terms are divisible by 4 so we can take 4 common and whatever left will be an integer which I am writing as to be say lambda dash so we are left with the number 30 plus 5 which is 35 but 35 again can be written as 32 plus 3 so this become 4 lambda dash plus 32 can be written as 4 times 8 so this become this now again finally if we take 4 common from these two term again we will be left with lambda dash plus 8 which is an integer say lambda double dash plus 3 so we have shown that when n is of the form 2 lambda plus 1 the expression s is of the form 4 lambda double dash plus 3 where lambda double dash is also an positive integer so in this case the remainder will be 3 on being divided by 4 so what we have shown we have shown that the sum of squares of the 5 any 5 consecutive natural number which was taken to be s on being divided by 4 leaves remainder either 2 or 3 so this cannot be a perfect square